Using an NPC editor is so fun! As you know, I am so hyped for the Creative 2.0 tools to come out. I have no idea when they're actually gonna come out, so I've been playing around with Core, which is an amazing tool that is gonna be very similar to what Creative 2.0 is. A few weeks ago, I got to play around with their terrain editor, and I still can't stop thinking about it. And today I'm gonna play around with their amazing NPC tools that are just so dang cool. If you don't know what Core is, it's an amazing system where you can create your own games, instantly publish them, and make them available for everyone to play. They recently announced that it's going to be coming out on the Epic Games Store later this spring and will soon be coming out on console and mobile. So Core will be available to everyone who wants to play it. Honestly, Core is a great option for anyone in the map making community, whether it's Fortnite, Roblox, or Minecraft. They're even hosting a really cool invitational right now with $120,000 in prizes. They're currently accepting applications for the invitational. If you're new to Core, that's okay. There's lots of awesome resources for you to check out. So be sure to read all the details and submit your application today. So a big thank you to Core for sponsoring this video. There are links in the description to Core and to the Invitational. Now let's check out the NPCs. All right, here's my terrain I made from my previous video. You can see my Skull Lake here is still stands strong, but I want to go and make a little area for my NPCs. I'm just going to make like a big pit here. Let's go. Boom. Holy cow, that might be too big. Whoa, there we go. That works. All right, there we go, guys. I got my little NPC pit. Man, I love that terrain tool. So I've watched a few tutorials on how to do this. I'm going to turn off my cam here, and if you look down here, there's this thing called the community content where other community people have made awesome things, and I'm just gonna type in NPC. And then right here, you're gonna see some really cool options come up. These are a bunch of things that people in the community have created to help you develop your maps. So this is the one I'm gonna play with here is the NPC AI kit. Right, now I'm gonna come over here into the project content, and then there's gonna be a bunch of stuff here that we can throw into our map. So let's just throw a few of these down and check them out. Oh, so we've got like a dragon here. Let's throw that down. Get a little closer and check him out. Whoa, -ho -ho. okay, we've got a dragon right here. Let's throw out a skeleton too. Whoa, dude, check out this guy. Oh, look, there's a raptor. Oh, very cool, very cool. Oh, and a skeleton marksman. Oh, dude, nice. Let's put him right here by our sword guy. Okay, now let's just jump in this and see what it looks like. I gotta remember to bring my spawn point over. All right, here we go. Let's see. Okay, we've got our NPCs right here. Do they attack me? Okay, nobody's attacking me yet, but they sure like to look at me. Dude, that's so cool. We've got NPCs that, like, track me. The dragon's not really interested in me at all. Okay, okay. Well, at least we've got some basic NPCs right here. That's so so cool. And that was like basically no work. Okay, so now it looks like what we need to add is something called combat dependencies. And we just drop it in here into the scene. And that should make it so they attack me? Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're attacking me! <laughs> Man, so yeah, there's just some little things like this that you gotta know to make sure that they'll attack you. Let's see if this guy is gonna... Okay, yep, yep, yep. Well, that is awesome. Let's just take a look at this dragon real quick. If you come over here and look at the hierarchy, this is where, like, you can define everything that the, your NPC does. So if you click on, like, the dragon enemy up here, you can come down and s customize all sorts of stuff. You can customize their movement speed, their turn speed, their vision radius. There's all sorts of really cool settings down here. I mean, you can make their attack recovery much shorter. So, like, if I put it at point one, and then we jump in, how fast can he shoot, I guess is what that is. He's kind of actually shooting kind of slow. So maybe we make that 10 and see how that goes. Oh, yeah, he's shooting way slower. So the higher, the slower. We're all learning in this together, guys. Oh, attack cooldown is 1.5. Yeah, that's interesting. So I wonder if we put that at 0.5. Yes, and look, guys, he's shooting a lot faster now. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, there's just a ton of settings here in just how the enemy interacts with the player. So currently, his attack range is 1,500. I'm gonna change it to 500 just to see if I can get the dragon to chase me. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, you can see, look, he's chasing me now. So is the other skeleton. I kind of moved the dragon further away. But now he's chasing me, and when he gets close enough, he can shoot me. Oh man, this is so awesome! Why don't we have NPCs in Fortnite Creative yet? Ugh. So there's a whole bunch of more settings if you go into the hierarchy over here. And I can even go into the attack server settings. And you'll see down here, this is how much damage he's doing to me. And there's also damage they can do to other NPCs. So basically, I can set up to where the dragon could fight these other NPCs right here. Maybe we should do that. Alright, let's figure out how to do that. I'm gonna increase his damage, though, to 100, just to see if he can take take down three other players. Then I'm gonna go back up to the general settings here and change the health to 300. Let's quickly check our other guys. Oh, the big skeleton has 500 health and it does 20 damage. I'm gonna leave it at that, but I'm probably gonna beef up my dragon a little bit. I'm also gonna give it 500 health. 
I'm gonna increase its attack range to a thousand. I'm gonna make its cooldown 0.1. Right, that should help it. Okay, now I need to figure out how to like uh, place them on teams. Oh, okay, guys. All I gotta do is you go to your dragon hierarchy, and then you can change the team right here. So we're gonna keep this one at team two, but we're gonna change all these other ones to team three. Oh, actually, I'm gonna make myself part of the dragon team. So I'm gonna put myself on team two. I can change that on the spawn pad. And let's see how this goes. Hey, I'm part of your team. Ah, they're all attacking me. I did something wrong. Okay, I changed my team to team one and the dragon to team one. Let's see if that works. Oh yeah, that's working. Okay, yeah. Fight for me! Ha ha ha! These other guys are too far away. I'm too far away from them. Let's see if they'll chase me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, they're chasing me now. Come on, dragon, take them out! I'll distract them! <laughs> oh, the dragon's is probably a little OP. I want to see how it works if I just place them all right next to each other. Alright, who's gonna win if they're all standing right next to each other? Ooh, dragon's struggling on this one. He's taking one down! You can do it, dragon! You can do it! Oh, I think he's gonna win this one. Okay, yeah, dragon is overpowered. I wonder how many of these NPCs I can actually put down. So what if I made two of these? So there we go, I'm gonna put them right next to each other. And then how many of these enemies can I do without, like, completely bogging down the server? Servers. All right, I've got a little army of opponents here. Let's see how this goes. Whoa! Okay, everyone's attacking my dragons! I don't think they're gonna survive! Although they've taken out some of the- Oh, okay, yeah, the dragons are dead! Oh, they're attacking me now! Okay, well, the dragons definitely need some help. Okay, now we've got four dragons versus the 12 other NPCs. Oh, uh, yeah, I think the dragons are gonna win this one, guys. Yeah, this is no contest. Go dragons. Whoa, 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 what's this? Okay, I'm getting some errors up here already. It seemed to run- Okay, I, I, I really want to, like, stress test this a lot. So I'm gonna add some more marksmen. Okay, so I added a bunch of marksmen. I just want to see what happens here. Maybe my computer will explode? Oh my gosh, there's a ton! Wow, you can actually get away with quite a bit here. And whoop, the dragons definitely got eaten quite- Oh, they killed me too! Let's push this even further. So I've got close to 70 NPCs here. Let's just see what this looks like. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, it's so loud! <laughs> ah, the dragons! Oh, whoa, oh, the marksmen are trying to hit me! Ah, don't hit me! Come on, dragons, take them out! They're trying to kill me! They got no chance here, no chance. Yeah, dragons are taking down the marksmen. <laughs> ah, they're trying to kill me still! Thank you, my dragon army. I love you! <laughs> okay, so here's something that I'm noticing, guys. Right up here, you see this is kind of like a memory limit. Basically saying that's the number of objects that I can have on my map. And each of these NPCs are made up of a whole bunch of objects. So basically what they're telling me here is I can double this. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm pretty much maxed out on my object memory, and I've placed down quite a few more marksmen and a few more dragons. I'm actually really nervous for my dragons here. Let's just see what's gonna happen. Here we go, press play. Whoa! <laughs> oh man, there is so much going on here. Okay, dragons, hold them tight, hold them tight. Oh, this is gonna be a close one, guys. The marksmen, oh, I don't know. I think the marksmen are gonna win this one. Uh... Come on, dragons, I'll try and distract them. I'll try and distract them. Yes! Oh, they lost. No. But it didn't bog down the server. Look at those smug marksmen walking away. Here's the problem, though, guys. This says 817 warnings here, but no errors. Oh, guys, this is so cool. And I'm just scratching the surface of this. Like, just barely. Like, there's so much potential here. Man, I really want NPCs in Fortnite Creative. But honestly, guys, Core is such a great place to start learning and just make your own games, guys. This is the place to be doing it right now. So be sure to go check out Core. Once again, the link is in the description below.